Hey guys, sorry for not uploading them uh, yesterday. I ran into some crap that happened. Then Hurricane Sally hit, and you know, uh, I live in Florida, so that took away my Wi Fi for a little bit. But now I'm back, baby, and I'm gotten a new legacy review because I've done one of these in, like since the last video, actually. I, I got a few new Linjago sets lined up. But hey, I'm excited because this is the new video. And also, I'm excited because at the time of recording, this Hasbro PulseCon is going on, and I got a premium membership. I got a premium membership, and then I'm a. Uh, I got a premium membership on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, I ordered the Cornerstone Pit of Judgment. I'm so excited for it to come in, and I just cannot wait. Dude, you're going on a tangent. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about um, uh, my most recent Hasbro Pulse purchase, but I will be making a few more now that I have um, a, a premium membership, and fr shipping is $12, which is really freaking expensive. Anyway, I won't be talking about um, uh, my Hasbro Pulse purchases, at least not until um, uh, a while later, and check out my Instagram for that, but, um, uh, but hey, today we're looking at the Ninjago Legacy Junior's uh, Kai's Fire Dragon. He has 81 pieces, and it's set 71701, <laughs> and this thing was $20. Now, I was very lenient, I was very, not lenient, but hesitant to get this set because it's a junior set, and in case you can't tell, it's not like the best build or anything, it's like, not good at all, it's not the best build or anything, um, uh, but... I, but I, I remembered, I made a promise to myself to get all of the legacy sets, and I'm gonna get them all, dad. Anyway, so, first, as we always do, let's look at the minifigures. Wait, we don't look at the minifigures first, we take a look at the box. So here's the box, so you got some... You got some pretty cool looking Kai in there. Me being the idiot that I am, I thought it only had one leg. You got the background, you got that thing. You got Garmin on and the minifigures, 4+, plus, the name, the other stuff. The top, the top with the legal stuff. The side with the legal stuff. The other side with languages. And then the back, which is just weird. Now we get into the minifigures. In this set, we get a minifigure of of um, uh, Lord Garmadon, which is pretty interesting, considering this is our third legacy Garmadon. He's basically the exact same as the other ones, except this one doesn't have the forearms, because it's supposed to be from season one, the pilot episodes. He's basically the exact same thing as the others. And the other Garmadons... Helmet comes off, the bone comes off, and there's nothing on the back of his head. And he comes with a little woo, little woo staff piece, and he looks pretty cool holding that. <sighs> the next many figures that we have is the Legacy Kai that we've seen in six freaking sets. It's in there already. Dear Lego, please. Stop! But you do get a sword. Yay! I'm not even joking. By the end of the freaking year, if I get all the legacy sets by the end of the year, which I probably won't because I'm massively behind because I just bought a big um, uh, Hasbro Pulse purchase and I'm kind of low on cash, but let's not focus on that. If, um, uh, if my math is correct, by the end of the year, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have ten freaking Kai minifigures, and it's just this Kai! Lego, stop making them, please. Oh yeah, this is a toy review, not a rant. I need to stop. I need to forget and remember them. A toy review channel. So yeah, here is the main attraction, the Fat Kai's Dragon. It's a pretty decent build for twenty dollars. No, it isn't. This thing is overpriced. All junior sets are. I'm a, the only reason, like I said, the only reason I got this thing is because it's, it's a legacy set, and I'm a sucker for these things. By the way, the new legacy set list is out, and I'm very excited for all of them except for the Ninjago City Gardens. I don't, when was when was that in the show? I don't think ever. It's just an add-on to the Ninjago like um, uh, 
Ninjago City and the Ninjago Sushi Restaurant, which I didn't want to get. So why would I want to get this one? Come on, Lego. You should have made the 10th anniversary set Borgo Tower or something. That would have been cool. I could put it, I could like try and figure out how to put it in the background or something. I don't know, but that would have been better than the freaking, freaking $300 thing that didn't even appear in the show. And I'm gonna, I'll rant about that later, but I'm, uh, uh, so this thing, it's got a little bit of a head swivel, ratchety here, it's got ball joint here, and on the other one, ratchety tail, and these are connected and like that. And there's a little flame piece on the end. And if you notice, this head, this head is like, like almost the exact same, um, uh, it's almost the exact same as the Golden Dragon's head, which the, the Golden Dragon is an infinitely superior $20 set, but they have the same chin, they have the same chin piece, this one's just looser because I've had it longer, I'm um, a... Uh, their heads connect the same way, and the only real difference is the fact that this one is like, you know, that way, and that one is that way. The, and um, uh, I kind of like that. I kind of wish they'd make more um, uh, Legacy Juniors, Legacy Junior Dragon, like you know, the Lightning Dragon or the Ice Dragon, the Fire Dragon, in the style of um, uh, in the same way that they made this one, but in their own little styles, and they came with their you know little shrines, the golden weapons, um, uh, little shrines, the golden weapons. Um, uh, like, like the, you know, and they each came with a little, um, uh, character, they each came with a little villain, like how Kai came with Garmadon, Cole could come with, like, you know, a ghost warrior, or, or um, uh, something else like that, and Jay could come with a serpentine. Oh yeah, speaking of elemental weapon shrines, yeah, also Kai can sit in the center, but nobody cares. We got a little sword of fire shrine that comes with it, which I think is, in my opinion, the best part of the set. I mean, it's just it's it's a really cute little temple build with a sort of fire in the middle, and also it's got these little flame pieces that come with it. I dropped that one. You know, these little flame pieces. What's not to like? And also, yes, the sort of fire can come off because it's a freaking Lego piece. So yeah, that's the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, um, uh, share the video if you want to. Go follow my Instagram and B and Yang's Instagram. I'm in the description, and I'm a, have a good day. Oh yeah, I forgot to give my final verdict on this. My final verdict on this is that sucks, don't buy it. Back to your normally scheduled Transformers review next time.